Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Elaine from CT Valley Girl Gardens. Welcome back to my channel. To everyone, new subscribers, returning viewers, old subscribers, I want to say hello to everybody from the United States and from the UK, Australia, um, from wherever you're watching. Welcome. If we're here, it's we're in the it's lunchtime. It's 12 p.m. So I don't know where what time it is where you're watching, but um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, having said that, um, I know a few of my viewers are from Canada, and um, a few, of course, United States, and there are a few from um, Australia. So that's why um, um, I said is depends who's watching from where. So please comment down below and let me know where you're from. It'll be fun to know. And um, also, you guys already know I'm from the United States of America. And I am from the state of Connecticut. So we are in the East Coast of America. So, um, yeah, comment down below. Let me know where you guys are from. That would be fun. And um, also, um, what is your favorite yarn? What is your favorite yarn company? And what weight size of yarn you like to crochet or knit with? So, um, I will tell you mine. My favorite... Um, company is Lion Brand. Yarn company is Lion Brand. Um, oh yeah, let me know what favorite hook side you like to um, crochet with or what is your favorite needle. Uh, knitting needle is the one you like to, you know, knit with. So comment down below. Okay, so mine is Lion Brand. Um, among other companies, but I love Lion Brand. My hook side is my favorite favorite is a five millimeter hook and I tend to use six and 6.5 a lot too but it's the five millimeter hook um, and um, the yarn weight size is my favorite is the bulky number five and I like to work with Three and up. Three is only I like to work with if, if I'm making baby garments. And also um, a light garment for the summer. That's it for spring and summer. But other than that, I'm usually four and up, which I love to work with those yarns. Um, also, I love acrylic yarn, cotton yarn, and wool. So... Those are the ones I like, and of course, you guys know my favorite color. If you have it, you don't know, it is blue. So, yeah, so let me know what you guys like to work with and um, which, what you make with your yarn. What is your favorite thing you make with your yarn? I say think because some people make uh, decor for their homes. Some people make um, garments, and some people make handbags, and some people make toys so comment down below what you like crocheting or knitting the most okay so with me is garments and i like making stuff for babies and baby toys and hats well that's part of garments um but i'm gonna start making stuff for animals i only made two in the past there were two little bears but yeah so today I have a, um, I want to show you what my progress, uh, maybe we should call it Whip, Whip Friday. I think I'm going to start doing that. I sometimes get nervous, like scheduling something in my channel because in case something happens and I'm not able to, you know, do the video. But I think Fridays I'm going to uh, do show you what I'm working on Friday so it'll be my whip Friday Fridays will be for whips and maybe Mondays will be for finished projects let's do that 
for now. Those are the two things I'm going to be working on <laughs> for Friday and Monday. Putting it as a schedule for my channel. Um, Yeah, I'm looking forward to do a live video, but I have to work on some things. So, let's show you what I've been working on. So, and I have a finished project. You know what? Why don't I start with the finished project? Somebody asked me that they wanted to see the baby blanket finished. But let me know. Grab your tea. Grab your bottle of water. Grab your cup of coffee. And join me. And um, relax and enjoy the video. Hmm. I had a busy day today, but I'll tell you that at the end. And it was only 12 p.m. Uh, not that busy, but I'll, t I'll tell you something funny that happened <laughs> so baby blanket all right so i just didn't sew one sewed in just have one loose end here to sew that's it <clears throat> so um this baby blanket is you know what i didn't get the measurements hold on one second guys okay guys i am back Whew, what a workout um okay i'm not at home <laughs> so so this is the baby blanket this is with the mill ends from lion brand which i don't have the name because there were mill ends that i bought in january so okay so it what I did was, this is a double crochet all the way. Made this blanket especially for the beginner crocheters. And then I did one border around of single crochet. And then I did one border around of double crochet in the white. And then I did this nice kind of give it like a lacy look stitch right there so it's very soft very beautiful it's good for receiving blanket but i even even think for uh maybe up zero to three months zero to six months i think zero to six months so um the blanket is Hmm. 39 wide and I think it's going to be the same 39 wide and okay 30 long so it's 39 wide 30 long so that's a pretty size blanket I love the way it came out it's beautiful and it's so sorry <laughs> try to sit down so soft so soft very soft very nice i love this little touch to it the border very nice then what it did was i did a matching baby hat one of my friends my viewers had sent me a happy mail gift and she sent me different kinds of crochet hooks like really i don't have to buy anymore <laughs> so thank you you know who you are but I did use one of the ones she sent me to make the hat. Because this is the same yarn as the baby blanket. This is the weight number three yarn. This is what I have left. Which I'm going to make some baby shoes. But I just haven't gotten around to it. And so I use a 3.5 millimeter hook. That's what I use for the baby hat. So this is a zero. And again, I have to sew in the loose ends. I think I have two here. It's so cute. I don't have my model the baby doll we have at home that she usually models with my baby clothes. But anyways, this is the hat here. It's so cute. And then I did uh, 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 the white here, just a single crochet all the way around one time. Isn't that beautiful? So it could fit a zero to three months old. So this is a good gift for someone who just had a baby. Wonderful very soft so I, I did it in green and I'm gonna start working on a second baby blanket so that's a finished project now 
I was working on the top, and let me just tell you where I am with the top. And I'm trying to finish it so I could wear it at least to the second month. I mean, ugh, second week of June, because after that it starts getting really hot. June first day of summer is the 21st, so we are on May 14. So I still have time to wear it. If I hurry up and make it, but I finish. Let me see what this is. I finished the front panel. I don't know if you can see that. Put my hair back. Oh, sorry, I'm not using a phone camera. I'm using my laptop. So, this is the front panel. And it's going to go like this. It's going to be very fitted because I didn't make it loose. This is going to be for me. I did not make it loose due to that I'm losing weight. And I don't want to make something baggy. And then I won't be able to wear it next fall. So... I made it fit it. So this is just the front. And yeah, so I do it this. So what I did was um I'm sorry, the baby blanket, I believe it was a chain of 120. And I used a five I used two hooks in the beginning. I used a five millimeter hook and a five point five millimeter hook for the baby blanket. So for this one, okay, so I used a, um, a six millimeter hook for this one and I did 70 plus three, a chain of 70 plus three stitches, a chain. So, and then I started working on the six chain, double crochet and worked on the six chain. And so that's that, it's the front. I just think it's going to come out nice. So this is the front post stitch right here, which it pops out in the front. And um, this is the shell, the shell stitch right here. So I'll give you a closer look of the pattern. And here we go. And then I thought it would be nice. I left this like this. And then I thought it would be nice to, um, I made, this is going to be like for, you know, a sleeveless. It's just going to be like a, like a tan top. But I made it a little thicker than your normal tan top uh, shoulder strap. So I made this, and it looks like a butterfly. So I made it to look like a butterfly. So these are all double crochet, and in the middle I slip stitch. And then double crochet back this way. So it looks like a butterfly. So the back, I started working on the back. It's the back one. Because this is like whipping up. And I started working the back one the other day. And I'm halfway through it. Halfway through it. This is the back. Okay, same, same thing as that one, but just the back. Halfway through it. And... I did tell you last time that I'm using the Big Twist value in soft gray. Okay, so can't wait to finish it. It'll be done by this weekend, guys. So on the back, because I love this butterfly effect. I know I'm trying not to take long with the video. Um, I love this butterfly effect that um I don't want what I'm gonna do with the back stitch is not gonna be a butterfly. It's gonna be just double crochet back and forth like this. It kind of looks like a butterfly wings, but it's gonna come over and then this is gonna be on the top and where you can still see this uh kind of like butterfly wings, right? When I'm done with it. So yeah, it's gonna be fitted. It's gonna be fitted. See right now. Sorry, I gotta um I'm gonna, that's how I want it, because when I lose weight. So it's right there in the side, see? And then the back one's gonna connect to it. So it's gonna be fitted. Um, and then the bottom, I'm actually gonna do a border in the bottom. That would be done this weekend. So guys, I wanted to do a video <clears throat> before I show you my next garment that you do not know that I started it on What's today?
Friday, May 14. <laughs> you, Sunday's my birthday, May 16, so I'll be 52, guys. Eesh. Uh, with all this pain, I feel like I'm 80. But anyways, um, Tuesday I was going to put up a video, but in the early, in the morning, in the morning I got devastating news that, um, the only uncle I had left in my mother's side of the family has passed away, um, in Tuesday, on Tuesday morning. So, it, you know, I just couldn't do a video. Actually, it's been very difficult been thinking about him and he was only 59 years old so I felt you know, what do we do when we're sad and we are you know when people are depressed or have anxiety or they're sad we pick up crocheting and we start making stuff and that that's actually I always did this for years but then I stop and start and stop and start but then I picked up again in 2019 is actually the reason I did was because my mom passed away so now um so what I did was trying to calm myself and get my mind all straight because you know I was it was uh, it hurting me a lot and um, I was very sad so I picked up book and said I'm gonna work on something to wear for the funeral That's what helps me to cope. So, the same pattern, like I told you, this pattern um, with the gray sh also that I use for the shirt is actually someone made a poncho out of it. And I used it first for the shirt. And then I mentioned in my last video that I'm going to make a poncho out of it. So, I had just bought this yarn from Hobby Lobby. Um... You guys watched it in my Hobby Lobby yarn video, haul video. I love this yarn, Metallic Black. So this has um, 252 yards. This, I already used the two skeins on this. And I'm not even done with it. I still need one more to finish the back just a little bit more. <clears throat> anyway, this is a chain of um, 120 plus 3. And it's the same pattern as the one I just showed you. So, where did I left off? This is where I left off, right here. I think, is that where I left off? No, the top. Okay, so it has the metallic, but it's black. It's, oh, I love it on me. But anyways, this is the back panel. This is the back panel. You see the shell stitch and the front post stitch right there. Might be very hard to see through the computer because of the metallic, very shiny, right? Ooh, my camera. Oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't put it that close. Um, so it, it kind of gives it like a blue kind of shiny sparkle, but it's really gray, silver. So, um, working on a poncho. So I'm down to zero of the black metallic yarn. So what does that mean? I have to go back to Hobby Lobby because I need to buy yarn for the front panels and and to finish the back. The back's almost finished. I think I need about maybe an inch or two more. Let me see. About two to three inches more. But let me show you this way because I want to make this. Let me see if you can see it better this way. Sorry, the camera. I'm trying to go slow. It keeps getting brighter and darker. Oh man, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> like if you made it into a shawl, which I was thinking of doing it in another color. Look at that. So, you might not be a person who likes glittery stuff. <laughs> or you might like the shiny glitter stuff. I, I, I like it. I haven't, this is my first yarn that I bought that was uh, with some metallic on it. On the yarn, but I was thinking of making this also. Let me see if I can stand up a little bit. <laughs> Making this into a shawl. Sh so beautiful. But a different color, of course. And then I'm going to put a button here. And this is how it's going to look. Isn't that pretty? This is where I left off right here. But isn't that pretty? Look at that. So I'm making a poncho out of it. 
and this is the back side for the poncho so that's what i'm gonna do i'll make a poncho out of it to wear for a funeral and i might make a matching um not glittery just plain black hat um for the funeral my daughter said mom you're gonna be hot with that and i said no it may lately here mornings and evenings has been cold where i'm still turning on the heat unfortunately and I don't want to, but I have, if I was living by myself, I would not turn it on, but I have my 15 year old daughter with me. I can't do that to her. But anyways, I'm sorry if I look too pale and white, it might be just the lighting here, but, or it might be the shawl. <laughs> well, it looks like a shawl right now, but it's gonna be a poncho. I love it, I love it. I don't know if it's gonna be a bit much for the funeral, but um, it kind of looks less glittery in person than what's showing on the camera. And you know it's supposed to be a little more open like this see so I used a eight millimeter hook for this she also used a eight millimeter miller, millimeter hook for it but her seems a little bigger in mine the shells I mean I think I'm a more tighter crochet so the next one I might go up and use a 10 millimeter hook but I will put a link to her video down below where she uh the link to her video of her tutorial of the shawl that i'm working on so um this is how it looks see that's how it's supposed to look i love it i love this yarn as soon as i finished it and i wrapped it around me i'm like oh my gosh i really love this i love it, it is so super soft super soft but anyways, I decided, see, because it kind of looks blue in the screen, but it's really silver. If you guys know this yarn, you've seen it at Hobby Lobby. But, um, yeah, I made this to go to the funeral. So that's what I've been working on. And I think that's all I have for today, guys. Um, I have to finish my cardigan. It's just like so much to do. So right now I'm down to 22 minutes. So let's, I'm going to wrap this up soon. Um, wish me luck, guys. Uh, today at 145 I get my MRI results for my knee and please keep please keep praying for me I've been having this knees now both of them plus my back my back is what kept, keeps me at night wakes me up from my sleep but now it's the knees in my back the last few the few times this week my knee has been keeping me up at night where I have to treat it and put in uh i have like a sleeve for the knee where it has copper in it but finally today i get to see what's going on with one of my knees because they could only do them one at a time but this is a, a step forward to find out what's going on and then after this i get my mri for my back so please pray pray for me i know that a lot of you who suffer from pain knows what i'm talking about it's not fun um yeah i think the only thing that keeps me going is the fear of god and know that god is with me if i think god doesn't give me more than i can handle and you know sometimes you wonder like why am i why am i going through this what did i do when am i going through this but remember he was also beaten and tortured and he took up his cross and we have to take up ours to the end so that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. So please keep me in your prayer. And I'll keep you guys in your prayer. I've been watching videos. So many people suffer from pain. And um, so the funny thing I was going to say was I did my IRS taxes, taxes today. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> the lady saw. The lady, I gave her my 1099s because, you know, I do care for i do uh daycare care for kids I my home and stuff like that my grandson that's my only source of income and she asked me do you have any other w-2s or any other jobs you had and i said no and she had the saddest face in her expression in her face like and said how oh, how did you do it how did you survive last year and I'm not going to go into figures, but it's less than $5,000 I made last year. Don't feel sorry for me. Uh, like she did. <laughs> she feels so bad for me that she started asking me, call 211. Are you getting housing assistance? How did you pay any of your bills last year? And I said, nope. I made sure I paid my rent. 
I paid the light bill only in the beginning of the year of 2020 was three hundred dollars. Then after that, it all went to, you know, it's rent time to pay because I wasn't going to be in the street with my daughter. So thank God for, you know, all the care, uh, COVID uh, relief care act where they can't turn our electricity off or our heat gas off. So, um, yeah. So she felt so bad for me that. She was trying to find some way for me to get more return back. Because she said, you might have to pay the IRS something. But thank God I didn't. Because I told her that I seen in the CARE Act was, we're considered self-employed people. We're considered uh, contractors, self-employed. So in there, it had a um, credit for us. And so anyways, I didn't have to pay nothing. No taxes. But my return was very small. And... um. She felt so sad for me that I started feeling bad for myself. <laughs> I was sitting there like moping like, yeah, um, yeah, things will probably get better this year. <laughs> and um, it was, um, it was an eye opener of how well, probably a lot of us had what, what we've been going through last year. She told me that even though I had this income, I was able to collect unemployment last year. I was qualified because I make very little money. And I was like, oh, man, are you serious? And I didn't apply because I worked as a daycare provider for one child. She said, no, 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 no. And now that made me feel feel even worse because... She was like, I was like, man, I could have gotten those $600 a check what people were receiving. I thought that was just for people who worked in full-time jobs, you know, in the past. Lost their job because of COVID. She said no. And she told me to apply again this year because they're doing it again. She goes, just apply. It's not, it's not going to hurt. They're just going to send you a letter. If you don't qualify, they're going to send you a letter. Well, so many programs out there that's going to help you. So, yeah. So, pray that I could find a low-income apartment. Because that's what I'm looking for. And, um, yeah. So, that was the funny thing I wanted to tell you. <laughs> I never, I never, you know, I always been an independent working mom. And even before I was a mom, since I was 15 years old, I've been working. And because of all these injuries, all this stuff that has happened to me in 2018, before 2018, but 18 just really, really put the nail in the coffin with my health. Because of the accident I had. So. But I'm trying guys. You know. I'm trying. I'm doing DoorDash. I'm trying. And DoorDash. I'm only I'm only down to two days now. Because it causes me a lot of pain. But anyways. That's not what this video is about. I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me. So just. What I would love for you guys to do is pray for me. Okay. Just pray for me. And I'll pray for you. And yeah. That would be great. So guys, please like, subscribe, and to my channel and share. So this way it will help my channel grow. And um, yeah. So today's Friday, guys. I'm trying to see if I could put up that TikTok video. I promised you guys that I was going to put up. Well, I didn't promise, but I said I was going to put it up. But my son, my sister, my daughter told me she sent it to me, and I don't see it. So I'm gonna work on it this weekend. But guys, it's Friday. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm loving it. I, I'm in t-shirts. I didn't even need a sweater today. So wish me luck on my appointment. I hope I don't hear any bad news. Any bad news because the therapist said I might, I might need surgery. I might have torn something in there. But I hope not because I didn't have an accident. She goes, no, it's with wear and tear. I'm like, man, I'm 51. <laughs> but anyways, that's what it is. It is what it is. And you just got to smile and keep moving. So thank you guys. Um, let's love another, one another. Pray for one another. Have a blessed weekend if I don't make another video by then. Have a great one. Bye for now. Ciao.